Hello and welcome to CCD Talks Podcast. And on this episode, I'll be talking about Blood Sisters. A four-part series on Netflix in conjunction with Ebony Light TV. But before I go on, please, you can subscribe to this channel. Like, follow, I'll appreciate So Blood Sisters tells the story of two sisters who are friends, best friends, Sarah and Kemi, and are bounded by secrets. Both friends are forced to go on a run after a wealthy groom who is Sarah's fiancé disappears during their engagement party. This series is in four parts. The first part is as I said, the first part is titled It's a Bloody Affair. Now, this part shows that Doreen Holler, who is the wealthy fiancé, during their engagement, the relationship between him and Sarah hangs in a balance because he is abusive. It is during their squabble when Kola wanted to end Sarah's life, that Kemi came into the hotel room. And in the process, he was shot. The second part of the series is titled, Run, Sisters, Run. In this part, Kola is missing and his family clashes over who is to take control of the family business. Meanwhile, Sarah and Kemi desperately search for a solution to their growing problems and in the process kill the photographer who took their picture when they were stuffing Kola's dismembered body in their car. The second part, the hunt, shows the family of the groom mourning his demise. Kemi and Sarah go into hiding till Uncle B is sent to go after them. When he locates them, they run for their dear lives. Detective Joe chases a lead and believes the girls could be innocent. The fourth part, titled The Catch, Kemi and Sarah were been haunted but at the same time when they were caught personal agendas and painful truths came to light and Kemi and Kemi as I said and Sarah finds themselves in the crosshairs of family feud the cast performed brilliantly they were able to portray their characters well. All the cast were in sync. It was like they were a family. They know themselves from way, way, way before. Kate Henshaw, who portrayed the character of Goodwa, nailed her character. She was so savage. This kind of wicked matriarch. A bougie who do not like people from the other track. Uh, say the slums. Gabriel Afolanyo, who acted as Femi Ademola, looks like a wimp. He didn't even have a mind of his own, more like his wife controlled and tells him what to do. Nancy Isimi and Ini Dima Okoji acted as Kemi and Sarah respectively. These two were able to pull off their character. I didn't even know they had it in them. Wow, kudos to them. Ramsey Noir, who played the role of Uncle B, performed exceptionally. He did really look like the bad guy, a hitman that doesn't talk much but get the dirty job done. The music, cinematography, costume was beautiful. The scenery, the costume made it look realistic, you know, so real. Now, to the con of the series what i didn't like about it what i feel was off 
was the scene where the hitman was sent to kill the groom. I love the part where they made eye contact and the hitman follows the groom, you know, to a secluded location in there and the place where they wanted to have their engagement. Now, what I didn't like is the fight, the, the fight between the groom and the hitman. It just didn't feel right, like something was missing. I just didn't feel that part. To conclude, I will rate this series 8. Yeah, 8. I'll give it 8. But I was wondering, why will IMDb rate it 4.5 oh yeah it deserves better kudos to netflix kudos to mo abudu and ebony light tv for a great move series rather not movie series a four-part series i really really enjoy the series but before i go please hit the subscribe button like I really, really, really love you guys to follow me. Thanks for listening. Till another episode. Do have a wonderful time.